The Nishitai Sky Texture gives us beautiful outdoor lighting. In Blender 3.0, we can create multiple sky presets and easily reuse them in any Blend 5. Let's have a look at how to set this up. Okay, so this is a basic scene where we will be creating our sky setups. So let's switch to the shader editor and select the world from the drop down. Now we need a sky texture, so let's press Shift A and search for sky. And connect the color output to the color input of the background shader. This is quite bright, so let's lower the strength 2.1. Let's create our first sky setup. I will rename it to sunset and bring the sun elevation down. To easily reuse this setup, I will mark it as an asset. To do this, right click on the world name and choose mark as asset. We can tell this is now an asset from the books icon next to its name. Now let's create our next setup. Let's click on the new button and rename it to sci-fi. To create two suns, I will duplicate the sky texture and combine them using a mix node set to add. So let's press Shift A and search for Mix and choose Mix RGB. Let's change the blend mode to add and the factor to 1. Now let's connect the sky textures and the output to the background shader. The two suns are currently overlapping, so let's change the position of the second one and increase its size. Now right click and mark as an asset. Now let's create a noon setup. So let's create a new one, rename it to noon. I will select the nodes we don't need and delete them using Ctrl X, which keeps the connection. Now let's change the sun elevation to 90 degrees to have it placed at noon. And then right click, mark as asset. And finally, let's create a stylized moon setup. So let's bring the sun back down and increase its size. Now to colorize the environment, I will press Shift A and search for the Mix RGB node. We will use the color blend mode with a factor of 1. Now let's connect the sky texture. We can now use the color swatch to colorize the environment. Let's set the color to blue. And right click, mark as asset. To access the different assets we have created, let's switch to the Asset Browser and click on All to display all assets. We can now assign any light setup simply by clicking and dragging from the Asset Browser. As you can see, they currently do not have any thumbnails. We can assign custom thumbnails by selecting an asset, opening the side panel, and in the preview section, load a custom preview. I have created these thumbnails simply by making a screen capture of the Blender viewport. So let's select the thumbnail and load a custom preview. And do the same thing for the different assets. The sky assets are from the current Blend file. If we click on the drop down and switch to an asset library, we see that we have access to different assets. So let's have a look at the difference between assets from an asset library and assets from the current blend file. When we mark data blocks as assets, they become available in the current blend file. If we want the assets to be available to multiple projects, we must save the blend file in an asset library. An asset library is a directory where Blender will scan for assets. The assets placed within an asset library can be then reused in multiple projects. In our case, 
the current asset library already contains one blend file with objects marked as assets. If we want the sky assets to be available to multiple projects, we must save the current file in the asset library. Note that we can have multiple libraries and to switch to the desired library, we simply select it from the dropdown. The path to the different libraries are found under Edit, Preferences, File Path, Asset Libraries. Here we can rename our libraries and add new ones by using the plus button. So let's copy the path by clicking on it and pressing Ctrl C. Now let's save this file in the asset library by going to File, Save As, clicking on the top bar and pasting the address. Now let's save the file. Now that the blend file has been saved in the asset library, let's click on the drop down and switch to the library. The skies are now available along with the models. However, they are all mixed together. So to keep things organized, let's create a catalog and move the skies to the new catalog. So let's click on the plus icon and double click to rename the catalog to skies. Now let's switch to the unassigned catalog, control click on the skies and click and drag drop them onto the new catalog. The asterisk next to the catalog name indicates that this catalog has not been saved. So let's go to file and save. Now that our asset library is set up, let's switch to another project. Okay, so in this project, the world setup looks like this. And in the asset browser, we can see that we do not have any assets within the current file. So let's switch to the asset library. We have access to all of the assets from the asset library and to the skies catalog. So now we can easily apply lighting setups simply by clicking and dragging. Note that depending on the file and the camera placement, you will have to adjust the sun position. But this still gives a useful starting point for outdoor light setups and an easy way to try different lighting onto our models. Alright, I hope this tip will be useful to you. I am Karim Joseph for Blender Daily. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.